Okay, so this is the shirt after I've just cut off the neck. Um, it already changes the shirt. It was just a plain t-shirt before. And now you can see how it kind of hangs off my shoulder. There's the back. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this entire sleeve off. And I'm going to cut it right along the seam, completely off. And on this sleeve, I'm going to cut the seam off, like where it's folded. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to and take the shirt <coughs> <coughs> So this is the way the shirt sits and this is the way the shirt was sitting before and I'm going to cut the entire sleeve about this much off. Again, I hope my editing works and you don't have to watch me cut. Okay, so now I've cut the sleeve off, and on this sleeve, which is going to sit on me like this, I am going to cut some stripes. Into it. So I'm going to draw with the sidewalk chalk on there so you can see where I'm going to be cutting. And then I'll show you um, after I've cut it. So let me go ahead and draw the lines with my sidewalk chalk. Okay, now you can see I have the sleeve folded in half and I just drew some lines from the top down about an inch and a half. You can make it as deep as you want or as short as you want or you can make the stripes thinner if you like. Um, but I'm going to cut it and show you what it looks like after you have cut the stripes in. But I just want to show you with the sidewalk chalk. I'm gonna do the lines. Okay, so now you can see the sleeve. This is the sleeve that I cut the stripes in. And a tr something that I always do um, is pull them and stretch them this way. Each one individually. You could probably stretch them all together. But I like to stretch them all the way out so it'll give that curled up look, the rolled up. So I just stretch each one of them out. And I'm going to put it on, putting it on inside out because it just has some words on it that uh, are from the studio I used to work at. So big shout out to Studio 5050 for the t-shirt to cut. And now you can see that I have a uh, kind of a I don't think it's like striped effect on my sleeve. And I cut the other sleeve off. Now if it's up to you if you want to leave it on anytime I cut up a t-shirt. Usually I uh, wear a tank top underneath of it, like the one I have on. Um, so 
if this is too much for you hanging out, then you could leave the, the sleeve on. Sometimes I take either a little bit of the extra from the neck or the sleeve that I actually cut off and tie up or here's a t-shirt that I was cutting earlier that's a different color that you can also use and tie up and if I'm able to do the editing like I want to then at the end of this video I will post some pictures of some other t-shirts that I cut up and I, I you can tie it you could cut this completely and tie it um, but here's the sleeve Let me get a better angle and you can cut the stripes thinner if you like so you'll have more of them or you can cut the sleeve shorter if you like um, but I like to have it you know hanging off and I like to have a little detail on this side here of it hanging off and now I'm going to show you a just a really cool thing that you can do to the back of the t-shirt um, that's going to make it look really customized and really neat um, but this is just one effect that you can do on the sleeve. Um, sometimes I will actually cut in between each one and tie that back up just so to give you a different look. But, um, yeah, that's it, the sleeve. So now I'm going to take the t-shirt back off again and I'm going to show you how to cut the back of it. Okay. So, here I have my t-shirt and there's the words that were, that were on the back of the but what you're going to do is you're going to fold your t-shirt in half and then just grab the back and let the front fall through. So I'm holding on to the back in half. So this is the front of the t-shirt. Show you the word side out. This is the front of the t-shirt. And here's the back. So I'm going to be cutting lines this way. So, again, black t-shirt. So it might be a little difficult. Fold the t-shirt in half. Okay. And then just grab the back. So you'll only be holding the back and let the front fall through. Okay, so when you're cutting, you won't be cutting through the back of your shirt and through the front of your shirt. So what I'm going to do, um, again, is this is the top of the t-shirt, and I have it in half, and I'm going to cut some more stripes in the t-shirt. So I'm going to I'm going to use my sidewalk chalk again so I can show you exactly where the lines are that I'll be cutting. This the worst of men of this the this the worst of men. And you can do it as a man or a short as you like. You can do the ruler. This your boy Brill Flash. Dope boy. Yeah, I'm a bad girl. Good good girls wanna date me. It probably be the reason why your boyfriend hate me. I know you wanna fuck me. Your friend wanna rape me. And all they wanna know what dope boy to do when they have to smoke. All right, and drink all right, instead of getting money. I know she thinks I'm fat away. I'm getting to the money. I'll be laughing at you haters. I'm a damn Face. 